Welcome to the Burley Travoy Bike Cargo Trailer for my Rad Rover, part two. Hi, I'm Arnie and this is Rad Rover Way and we talk Rad Rovers, accessories, go for rides. Hey, if you like that kind of stuff, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button. Click the bell icon also so you won't miss anything and check the show notes down in the description for even more details. So this is part two of the Burley Travoy cargo bike trailer. And uh, last time I kind of did an unboxing and went over the basics of it. And so we're just gonna kind of take it the next step from there. So last time we talked about how easy this was to set up, the wheels just pop on and off just push that center hub in, press it down, the other side, and there you have the wheels on, easily grab it by this and twist, it pops up, just like that. And the other part, again, you twist the yellow handle, it pops up. And as I mentioned last time, there's also this foot on the bottom that kind of balances it as you open it up. And it'll stand there, so you can use it not only as your bike cargo trailer, but also to use in the grocery store. And that's what this is all about. Okay, now, to make this thing work. By the way, you can see that there are like two sections here. This part up here is designed to hold about 20 pounds. The bottom section about 40 pounds, so 60 pounds total. For this to work the way it's designed, you'll need to have these market bags as well. This is the upper level and then there's a bigger one for down below. Let's back this up just a little bit. You'll notice here on the side there's a pin here and a pin here. Obviously the same on the other side as well. That's for these little guys to attach to just like that. And it safely hangs from that upper section. It's kind of hard to do without, there we go, without seeing it. And there it is, that part, the upper part. Now, inside, there's a, a flat bottom that pushes down that's of a, a hard material of some kind. I can't tell you exactly what it is. And inside, you may not be able to see this. It's kind of hard to get that. But there's a large pocket on the side with Velcro. There's a pocket here, I'm sure you can see that, that has a, it looks like it's supposed to be for a cell phone, but I just tried it with my um, iPhone XR and I can get it in, but I can't close the lid, the flap. So that's kind of useless. I don't know why, I wouldn't put my phone in there anyway. And then there's this mesh zippered pocket also. Now, the bag itself measures about 14 inches across, roughly. Yeah, 14 inches by 7 inches, and it's approximately another 9 inches tall. And you can snap it closed. It also has a place, a loop here, so you can hang your tail light from it. And a hand here, hand grip, I should say, a handle. The big bag does the same thing. Now, you, I know this is out of frame, but it works the same way. The big bag clips to the bottom the same way the other one did. And I'll hold this up in a second. And 
so there's the second bag. Um, and it's obviously larger. It stands about 15 feet, 15 inches tall. Um, dimensions are a little bit larger, about 15 by mm, a little more than nine inches. Those are guesstimations. <laughs> and it's um, made with a nylon fabric, and this is mesh. And at the corners and on the top up here, it feels like metal rods in to give it some shape. And again, another loop down here that allows you to put on a uh, tail light as well. This one doesn't have a flap on it, but it does have a closure system, a bungee of sorts with the um, squeeze, whatever this is called, toggle, I guess, that allows you to close it all up. And it also has two handles so that you can carry it more easily into the house. A nice, slick setup. All right. So here we go. You're going to want to hook this, obviously, to your bike. How do you do that? This is the part that I liked best. Might be a little bit strong, but I like the fact that I did not have to connect the trailer to the hub down here. So many of them are like that, and I didn't like that whole notion. I wanted something a little bit more straightforward, I guess. And this is it right there. The hitch attaches to the um, seat post, clamps on there, and there's a little spring-loaded clasp, I guess you'd say, that keeps the um, trailer hitched up to it. So you just take the hand, by the way, the end of the trailer here where the, the hitches up is a, um, a really hard rubberized kind of material. You just take that, you slide it on, it's the, the clasp moves forward and you push down on it. There we go. Push down on it, the clasp backs up, it's spring-loaded, goes and holds that down. Very, very slick. This part extends, by the way, I mentioned that last time. It extends out of this to give you a little bit more coverage. Now, when I did this originally, my rack was up considerably higher than it is now. I had to lower it because this was coming very, very close to the rack. And I could see that, you know, in certain situ situations bumping that. So you might have to consider that if you are looking at do using this with your setup. Maybe not having a rack at all, uh, lowering it, whatever. Um, there is another option. That option is this bracket that they also sell. It clamps to your bike rack in the back here. and allows it then this part you can take apart and then attach to this and uh, use that way. I didn't think that that was going to work for me because this part of the tree or the part of the rack flips up. I have an Ibero rack which I did a video for which you can find in up up in one of the corners if you want to um, take in that video. So this is an option for you. I'm not Fortunately, I can send that back. Very cool, yes? I think so too. Now, I have a small problem. 
not with the setup. I love this. The problem is we're in the midst of the coronavirus as I'm doing this. And uh, I'm not going to make a run to the store, which I had planned to do, um, just to show you how this all works together. I just don't think that's the greatest idea in the world. I think you probably agree with me. We're going to have to, to leave it at that. I'll take a ride um, down our little block here. And so you can see it trailing behind the bicycle and how it tracks. Let's wrap this up. Possibly the thing that I like best about this is that the way it's designed, it doesn't trail out behind the bike a long distance. I like the fact that it's a shorter wheelbase and of course I like the part that allows me to just take this off the bike and roll it into the store and use it as a cart and just makes that kind of thing a breeze. Just pack up the bags, go up to the register, take it out, you know, put them in. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to being able to use this and I will, I will video that when I actually do go to the store. You understand what it's like these days. Pretty excited to use this. Hey, if you like this kind of content, please make sure that you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. We do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.